Para nosotros ha sido muy pesado trabajar la casuarina, pero es un orgullo para nosotros proteger el medio ambiente. Yo me siento feliz de que soy trabajador del manglar. Estoy feliz. Ahora sí, me gusta el trabajo, me encanta. Pues el turismo cuando llega a la zona hotelera, lo primero que ve al entrar es, es el manglar. Así que el manglar es algo único, es algo que tenemos como ahora sí una especie bonita, linda, que le da una vista ahora sí superioridad a la zona hotelera que, que no tiene ningún otro, otro estado. Wetlands are one of the most important ecosystems in Mexico. One type of wetland are the mangroves. For its territorial extension, Mexico ranks fourth worldwide of the 125 countries with the largest mangrove ecosystem. Mangroves are known by the natural wealth and the environmental services they provide. They are a transition zone between the marine and continental ecosystems and act as natural barriers that protect against hurricanes, storms, and the impact of storm surges. They also serve as natural water treatment plants and are the natural habitat for thousands of species. In addition, the mangrove ecosystem is key to climate change, compared to the other forest ecosystems on the planet, due to their ability to store up to five times more carbon. Specifically, in Quintana Roo, mangroves contribute to the conservation of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef system by improving the quality of water that reaches the sea. Los manglares son ecosistemas eh, sobresalientes, constituyen bosques acuáticos altamente productivos y están construidos por un pequeño número de especies que conforman árboles y arbustos y que se han adaptado para vivir en la interfase entre el mar y la tierra. Están restringidos a los trópicos y a algunas regiones templadas, alcanzando su mayor abundancia a lo largo de las costas húmedas. In Mexico, we find the red, black, white, and buttonwood mangrove species that according to the official Mexican standard number 059 are considered endangered species. This means that they could eventually disappear in the short to medium term. It is estimated that in Quintana Roo in the last 20 years, an approximate of 65% of mangrove surface has been lost. There are many threats that affect the balance of the mangroves. Among the most significant, extensive and of higher impact threats to the biodiversity and conservation are biological invasions and human activity. Foreign, invasive species are those that arrive into an ecosystem outside of their natural range, whose features give them the ability to colonize and settle without competition or predators causing immense impact on the native ecosystems. As these foreign species can reproduce and spread at high speeds, they become a pest. Eliminar una especie exótica invasora que tenga un comportamiento como plaga es importante en cualquier lugar fuera de sus áreas de distribución natural. Sin embargo, dentro de un área natural protegida, esta importancia es mayor, ya que la erradicación de las especies invasoras forma parte de las principales estrategias para eh, trabajar a favor de la conservación de los ecosistemas del área. Casuarina equisetifolia, better known as Casuarina, coastal she-oak, is a tree native to Oceania and Asia that was introduced to the country for urbanization purposes and erosion control on the beaches. However, because of its high rate of growth, reproduction and lack of competition, it became a plague that affects the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, the Mexican Caribbean and the Pacific. Si ponen la lona es para que vean que no es así. Ahora sí de que lo que hacemos nosotros es cuidar ese espacio donde estamos talando el árbol de la casuarina y cuidar también esa área donde está el manglar. Ahora sí que no es tirar por tirar, es ver, analizar y cuidar el medio ambiente. Todos estamos acostumbrados a campañas de reforestación, a ver crecer los arbolitos, todas estas acciones que se ven como, como positivas y es muy difícil convencer a la gente de que también para conservar hay que quitar, 
hay que erradicar especies que están afectando nuestros, nuestras áreas natural, eh, naturales protegidas, nuestra propia naturaleza. Because of this, the National Commission of Natural Protected Areas, CONAM, in partnership with the non-governmental organization Flora, Fauna y Cultura de México, is working for mangrove conservation. Since 2008, the Department of Wildlife Protection, Mangroves of Nichupte in Cancun, has developed restoration projects in the protected natural area. Part of this ambitious project seeks to control and eradicate casuarina to encourage the repopulation of native mangrove species. Mira, en trabajos tan grandes, tan titánicos como, como conservar áreas naturales protegidas, erradicar especies invasoras, es muy importante la colaboración de diferentes actores. Nadie puede lograr mucho solo. La CONAM, que es la guardiana del área, no puede sola. Las asociaciones civiles no podemos solas. Eh, la academia no puede trabajar si no tiene los contactos en, en, en los lugares precisos. Entonces, eh, este es un ejemplo muy claro de cómo podemos lograr mucho a través de la colaboración interinstitucional. The Wildlife Protection Area, Mangroves of Nichupté, occupies an area of 4,257 hectares, consisting of 12 polygons ranging from the beginning of the hotel zone, an urban area of Cancun, to the south of the highway from the hotel zone to the airport, including the neighboring area to the Nichupté Lagoon system. Since the project began, more than 65 hectares with more than 370,000 mangrove propagules have been reforested. Within the program of eradication of foreign species, more than 11 hectares of the species Casarina quisitifolia have been seized within the protected area, eliminating more than 4,246 trees as of 2014. Of the restoration projects within the Nichupte mangrove management programs, the removal of the casuarina is an interesting case that is supported by the Gulf of Mexico Foundation Mexico, along with three other cases of mangrove restoration in the Gulf of Mexico. In particular, this species invasora, Casuarina quisetifolia, produces substances chemicals that inhibit the growth and development of the seeds and the plants of manglar. Si a esto le sumamos que tienen una alta tasa de reproducción y de crecimiento, eh, se consideran una plaga, una importante plaga de todos los humedales. The final facet of eradication project is executed under the coordination of CONAMP, the organization Flora, Fauna y Cultura de México, and the Gulf of Mexico Foundation Mexico in the public property of Malecón, Tajamar. The challenge is to educate and share with the urban community of Cancun the labor being done by the mangrove workers and the communal and ecological benefit of extracting these invasive trees. In addition to the environmental benefits, the eradication of the casuarina is generating jobs for the locals in the area. For example, the community of Leona Vicario has found in this project a new livelihood to help them provide for the families and at the same time preserve natural areas for the future generations, creating an important link between locals, CONAMP, and the other organizations seeking this type of employment support. In this manner, this important battle for nature has allowed the community to adopt the project as their own, forming a united and responsible community, proud of the workers of the mangrove. Ser protector, un protector del manglar se siente algo inigualable, es un orgullo, es una prioridad que nosotros tenemos al cuidar el medio ambiente, en proteger, en no solo devastar, es cuidar y para las generaciones siguientes decirles lo mismo, hay que hacer que cuiden, que limpien, porque es una verdadera maravilla estar aquí.